Leader, today the issue that I'd like to raise is, is in relation to swimming lessons and when they can uh, resume uh, in the Republic of Ireland for children. Uh, and the reasons why I'm doing that is we've, we, we've seen a, we have seen a really good return to normality of kids being able to play outside, get back to sport, and it's been really, really good to see. And now I'd like to see and ask the government about when we plan to do that for swimming lessons. And the reason I'm doing that is I was speaking with the manager of Aura Swimming Pool in Dundalk last night who outlined a couple of things. And it's not really until you think about it and you realise, yeah, God, that actually makes perfect sense and perhaps as a government we should be looking at the nuances of situations and I think this is something where nuance really needs to be taken into consideration um, and the reason behind that is numerous scientific studies have identified that co the COVID virus is killed within 20 seconds in a swimming pool uh, facility due to the chemical disinfectants in the water. The second point about it is modern swimming pools because of the high humidity have ventilation systems that provide a total of 10 complete air changes per hour. Um, so at a time when discussions are already taken place about a resumption of indoor dining, it needs to be noted that swimming pools are one of the more much safer indoor environments in terms of sporting activities. And I think that's just a part of the debate that's actually been missing uh, in recent weeks. And in previous times uh, in this house, I've spoken about cross-border trade, uh, cross-border travel. There's also the issue then of cross-border swimming because, and hear me out on this, because the reason is swimming lessons have now opened up in Northern Ireland uh, yesterday. Uh, and the idea of swimming lessons is they're eight to 10 weeks, you pay in block. So the problem is now we have an issue of viability in the median term for border town uh, leisure facilities who have no idea about when they're able to reopen. And as a result, parents naturally who want to try and keep their kids up to a good level of swimming will go over to Newry, will go across border, will put their money there away from the local economy and border towns. So I would really appreciate it if the government could make a strong outline of what we want to do of when we see a return to uh, swimming lessons for children. I think it's been great to see kids back out playing sport over the last couple of weeks and now we need to look for sports that have to predominantly take place inside as well.